Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all his benefits. It is he for who forgives all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, especially those who are following this through the internet, media ministry, and Facebook, we welcome you. And this being Saturday, we ask for the special intercession of our Blessed Lady and patron of our Diocese, Our Lady of Guadalupe. So, as we begin this Mass, always in the presence of our Savior, merciful as he is, we ask for his help. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, to and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that I, I have, have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts, in my, in my words, words, in what, what I have done, and in what, and in what I, have I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most gracious fault. fault. Therefore I ask, yes, Blessed, Blessed Mary, Mary, ever Virgin, all, all the angels and saints, saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Rejoicing in this annual celebration of our Lenten observance, we pray, O Lord, that with our hearts set on the Paschal mysteries, we may be gladdened by their full effects. O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son, as he hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother also, grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your church may be more fruitful day by day, and exulting in the holiness of her children, may draw to her embrace all the families of the peoples. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And God now, through the first reading, invites us to return to him if we have wandered away from him. A reading from the book of Hosea. Come, let us return to the Lord. It is he who has rent, but he will heal us. He has struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day, he will raise us up to live in his presence. Let us know, let us strive to know the Lord. As certain as the dawn is his coming and his judgment shines forth like the light of day. He will come to us like the rain, like spring rain that waters the earth. What can I do for you, Ephraim? What can I do with you, Judah? Your piety is like a morning cloud, like the dew that early passes away. For this reason I smote them through the prophets. I slew them by the words of my mouth. For it is love that I desire, not sacrifice, and knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. It is mercy I desire, and not sacrifice. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. It is mercy I desire, and not sacrifice. Be bountiful, O Lord to Zion in your kindness by rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. Then shall you be pleased with due sacrifices, burnt offerings, and holocausts. 
It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. To you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two men went to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. O oh God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and prayed, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified not the former. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ and those who are sharing in this celebration through the internet. If we had been present in the temple that day, these two men began to pray. We would have been at first impressed by the prayer of the Pharisee. For he begins by thanking God, as we do always and everywhere, especially here in the Eucharist, and then we would assume that when he starts to say that he thanks God that he's not like the rest of humanity, sinful humanity, we do assume that he recognized that, yes, he's been saved from sin and so on by God's grace. We'd assume that. We'd have to. However, when he makes this comment in his prayer about this tax collector... We would have to say, no, how can you say these words about the tax? Well, you don't know what's in his mind and heart. We need to remember that the very first sin that humans committed was one connected with knowledge. The devil told Adam and Eve a lie, that if they were to eat the fruit they've been told not to eat, they would know like God. Well, they unfortunately ate that fruit. And did they know like God? Of course they did not. And neither do we. We've constantly to remind ourselves when we're inclined. Yes, we can't help getting an impression from the behavior of people we see. An impression only. But remind ourselves, this is an impression. I don't know what's going on in that person's mind and heart. In fact, that person could be physically sick. They could have even a tumor on their brain making them behave in a way that I find objectionable. And so let us always avoid rash judgment. And this prayer of the tax collector, let us look at that. He's not suggesting that God is not merciful by asking him, be merciful. 
Of course, God is always merciful towards all of us. But he recognizes that he has no right to that mercy. And so he humbly asks for it, as we do. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I need your mercy. I am weak. I am sinful. And many people down the centuries have repeated this prayer many times, changing just the first word to Jesus. Jesus, which as we know means God saves, and Jesus is the Son of God made man, our Savior, who shed every drop of his blood on the cross for us sinners and prayed, Father, forgive them, they do not know what they are doing. And so let us keep repeating that prayer humbly, not judging others. Jesus, be merciful to me, a sinner. Or the longer form, which some say, Jesus, Son of God and loving Savior, be merciful to me, a sinner. This being Saturday, when we have a special devotion to our Blessed Lady, I'd like to conclude with a prayer that our bishop, Thomas J. Olmsted, composed to our Blessed Lady, Our Lady of Guadalupe, <clears throat> at a time in this crisis when we're all very concerned about this spread of the COVID-19 virus. So I pray to our Blessed Lady in the words that our bishop composed. Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the Angels and Mother of the Americas, we fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your Son as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving Mother, and gain for our nation and world and for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels, that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust in this time of trial and testing. Teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence, knowing that you truly are our compassionate mother, health of the sick, and cause of our joy. Shelter us under the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know and love your Son, Jesus. Amen. And let us now present our petitions to the Lord our God, who desires our honest and open prayers. That all the members of the church may grow in love and knowledge of God, through his grace and mercy, we pray to the Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That judges, juries, and law enforcement officials may be guided by God in balancing judgment with mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may heal and bind up the wounds of those injured, ill, recovering from surgery. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. That those gathered here whose hearts are experienced in despair may be blessed with the consolation of God's peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that those who have died in Christ may return with the Lord to his glorious kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear, hear our God. prayer. And for the intentions that all of us bring to Mass this morning, 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the repose of the soul of Rosalina Castillo de Briones, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear Lord. our prayer. God of the prophets, you call us back to you this Lent. In need of your healing and merciful love, grant these and all our prayers through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Sisters and brothers, pray that our sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O oh God, by whose grace it comes to pass that we may approach your mysteries with minds made pure, grant, we pray, that in reverently handling them on we may offer you fitting homage and receive our offerings, O Lord, and transform them into the mystery of salvation so that by the power, its power may set aflame in us the charity of the Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, and with her may be united more closely in the work of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this 
is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, And recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Juan Diego, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and Eduardo, his assistant, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now the Savior's command and form by divine teaching We dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the the kingdom, kingdom, the the power, and the glory glory are yours now now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under my roof, roof but only, only say, say the, the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. The tax collector stood at a distance, beating his breast and saying, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Let us pray. May we truly revere, O merciful God, these holy gifts by which you ceaselessly nourish us, and may we always partake of them with abundant faith in our hearts. Amen. And having received the pledge of redemption and life, we humbly pray, O Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin's motherly help, your church may teach all nations by proclaiming the gospel and through the grace of the outpouring of the Spirit fill the whole earth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer over the people. Hold out to your faithful people, Lord, the right hand of heavenly assistance that they may seek you with all their heart and merit the granting of what they ask. Through Amen. Christ our Lord. Amen. We thank those who make it possible for us to stream this Mass to so many people, those working behind the scenes in our media ministry. We thank our Deacon Joe for assisting us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the peace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you, your families and friends, and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thanks.